Friday night, we had a special group of sponsors for Friday night. Friday night was brought to us by Trevor Khan, <laughs> Avamine, and those little paper bags that hang outside the lifts. <laughs> and I think and now is a good time when we talk about that, you know, we see the great staff moving around, but while we're in here, those people that do the cleaning, and I think, especially after Friday and Saturday, we need to give the cleaners a great big round of applause, don't you? I feel like we really hit our straps yesterday, you know? You know like it, it took some time, um, and then people started emerging from their rooms, finally. And when they did, we were, like last night went off, we had the comedy gala, we had karaoke, every bar had pianists, and there were piano players all over the place as well. <laughs> um, we had a casino, it was going off in dome, and then we had uh, the flattening your stomach seminar. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Conveniently on the same level as the pantry, the grill, and New Zealand ice cream. <laughs> Piano, you're sending us mixed messages. Uh, seems a bit tokenistic, doesn't it? Um, I, I didn't think this would be happening though, being up on stage. I'm as nervous as a long-tailed cat in a room full of rocking chairs. <laughs> But I, I went to Fiona's class yesterday and we got some good tips. She said, you know, own the stage, connect with the audience. And I think we're doing that. I feel a special connection. Um, so we're going we're gonna to tell a joke together, okay? It's a, it's a format that everyone's familiar with. It's the knock-knock joke. We all know what knock, how they work, okay? So you're going to start. Are you ready? One, two, three. Knock-knock. Who's there? <laughs> I should have thought that through a bit better. So I'm really pleased to be here. We've got, my wife and I, we've got four kids. And so um, they're not here, which is why I'm really pleased to be here. Um, but they're fine. We left them in the Macca's drive through and windows are down, which is good. My, my wife, I thought, even if no one else laughs, my wife will be here to laugh at me because why should being on stage be any different? <laughs> um, my grandfather once said to me, a man is incomplete until he's married. And once he's married, he's finished. Erin <laughs> uh, and I have, uh, as I said, we've got four kids. We, uh, w marriage, I, I suppose it's, it's a little bit like um, it's a little bit like you want to just reach in your back pocket. I'm just going to own this moment. Yeah. <laughs> own it, Fiona. Is that what you said? Yeah. I forgot, but I've got key words. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> knock knock. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yay! <laughs> and on the dance floor tonight, you're going to come up to me and go knock knock. <laughs> it's going to be great. We're going to connected and more. Uh, <laughs> marriage is like a workshop where one person works and the other person shops. <laughs> and Jared's, Jared's performance reminded me it's, it can be like a deck of cards as well because all you need to begin is a diamond and two hearts. Aww. And then down the track you're just wishing for a spade and a... <laughs> <laughs> It's not true, it's not true, Aaron, it's not true. Aaron and I have had six happy years of marriage. We had our 14th anniversary in March. <laughs> <laughs> the secret, the secret though, to a successful marriage, for, for us at least, is, is having, investing some quality time. And so, once a week, we go out, we have a nice meal, even with four kids, we go out, we have a nice meal, we have a bottle of wine and some quality company. She goes Tuesdays, I go Thursdays. <laughs> it works for us. But can I tell you, finally, I'm going to tell you what it means to me to come home to a clean house, a baked dinner, four kids bathed and tucked into bed. I'm in the wrong bloody house. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. You've been
super job. But, uh, it's your posse. You've got 63 people with you. Wow. That's impressive. Anyway, that workshop was good, wasn't it? <laughs> super job. Is that your first time you've ever done that? Wow. Oh, wow. First time. Wow. Vicky Dean. Scotty. How good was that, folks, huh? But I, um, your manner, your tone, immediately I felt comfortable uh, listening to you. And um, considering it's your first time, your pacing was great. Um, again, you use topical material to bring us in. Uh, you, your jokes which were great. You made them your own. Uh, I'll borrow a couple of those. <laughs> make them mine tonight, champ. I'll cut, I'll cut you in. I'll cut, I'll cut you in. Uh, <laughs> superb, mate. Um, yeah, no ums or ahs or stammers. And um, you, yeah, when you wanted... I'll well, get stuff. <laughs> That's my point, I'm trying. He made me feel comfortable. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a 10, Scott. Beautiful, Mark. Wow, Scotty, you got up and I thought he's too good looking, he can't be funny. <laughs> but then you were funny as well, you bastard. <laughs> that was just brilliant. That's seriously your first time? And I thought, you know, the thing that, that I was so impressed with, you were referring notes on your, on your good times, but you wove it into the act, which was so clever. Ten. Yeah. Ten yeah. Wow. Jared. Um, I'm totally going to steal that diamond and heart gag. <laughs> Mate, fantastic. That was so... You, you, look, you look like a comedian friend of ours, which was... Uh, Stu Goldsmith, uh, and you came out and you were just as funny. Uh, well done. Um, I'm gonna give. Oh, it's up to me now, isn't it? Who's gonna win? Give it. Hang on, hang on. I'm giving you a 15. Wow. Hey, Benny, give Benny, Benny, give him a four. <laughs> uh, it's up to you. No, that, I, that was unanimous. That was so impressive, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, and it started as well with a standing ovation over here from a, a couple of girls as you were walking on the stage. And I thought it's your first gig and you've already got groupies. <laughs> it's quite impressive. And uh, we're all quite protective of our industry here. So I think given that was your first time, if you wouldn't mind just coming out the back with us and letting us subtly undermine your confidence. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be appreciated, and I, I second as well what uh, what Mark uh, said, or sorry, what Bob said. Uh, that uh, yeah, good looking rooster. I've got a 36 year history of being interested in girls, but uh, tell you, I'm ha having a think about jumping over the other side. Of the <laughs> Ten from me as well. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a zero oh, now. So that's a, okay. You've just tipped anyway. over my Pinot Noir, that's a four. 